guys i'm here with my sister yoseli uh we're on our way to go pick up the wings and we're gonna pick them up actually in the same location where we used to work right yoseli we're gonna have flashbacks oh tell me about it no me gusta que es mi carrito and then let's make a whole show hey guys welcome to this video today we have a mug mukbang um, mukbang a mukbang, mukbang with mukbang. all this food and no solamente eso we're wearing our feed up shirt okay so well, we're basically gonna be saying it's our history of working at buffalo wild wings because we work together right yeah we did work together for like two weeks two weeks no it wasn't two weeks you worked longer than me i did so before we, we start everything the whole story lo que sea, we're gonna open this food because we're freaking hungry right now so yeah we got we got two large boneless y unas papas, eh? oh, estamos yeah. dando pepper. uh i got hot barbecue because they're my favorites these are asian thing yeah Okay, they're getting soggy already. We need to eat them fast. I'm gonna open them. I got Parmesan garlic over here. Oh yeah, here. let's open them para to comer enough. I'll just one more. I know, my too. Probably they. It's a boca también. Miren. Yeah. Se ve. Yeah. Even though we worked there for a long time, like wedges. I mean wedges. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buffalo wild wings. It's still bomb. Okay, Ooh, so blazing. How like... about you close the blazing for the end? Oh yeah, we're gonna at the end. We're gonna get uh, try the hottest sauce. Ha, have you tried it? No. You I mean, one? I've tasted it, but, but like, like we're not wink, we like, haven't. Yeah. So we're gonna leave that for the end to see a ver quién no aguanta. How many wings son? Son cinco. Two, tres, yo dos. Oh. Hi. And then the celery. I don't know. Do you? You say you don't like celery, or you do? I like celery. Oh, okay. I, without celery, I can't eat wings. Like I have to have my celery. And then we're in a diet, so we we're drinking water. Water is good for your soul. So let's start this. First of all, I want to get a wing because they want to go down. Okay. Where do we put the If you put your ketchup on your fries or wedges or whatever, Almost are you even human? Mm. That's good enough. How barbecue it is. Mmm. So good though. I haven't had wings in a while. So, Joseli recently actually quit. I actually quit like over a year already. It's been two months for me. So she has like a more, like, se acuerda más que yo. Mm. By the way, go follow my sister. She has her own YouTube. Are we the same height? Hi. Hi. <laughs> her link is in the, gonna be the description box. Oh, for real? I feel honored. <laughs> oh, I should have done something cool. Like, we have my sister. Yeah, so this is the shirt. I actually, un día que estaba like guardando mi ropa, I found this shirt y la guardé because I actually had thought about doing this video. So I've been having it ever since. And then right now I told her, hey, do you still have a Buffalo Wild Wings shirt? Because we need it for the video. And she only found like the newest version that they use right now. Antes era esta, la más bonita. And now they use that crappy t-shirt. Yeah, that's why I quit. Pretty much, right? Yeah. All for a t-shirt. Oh, you like celery? I, I don't know when it started, but now I do. Okay, so we're going to start by telling you guys how we became servers. Because before, I used to say that I would never be a server. The reason because it gets like a lot of work. I don't know, before I used to be more shy, so uh like me being the center of attention like on the table, like so I was like, I'm never gonna be a server. And this you is a terrible server by the way. Uh, I serve by Nayeli. <laughs> I got good tips. <laughs> she did get a phone number on her first day. Oh, oh the, yeah, when I was getting trained. Shout out to the guy now. If you're watching this, you said that you would never work at a restaurant. Like, what else? Like, I, I, I say so many stupid shit and I end up doing them. My first job was at McDonald's. And he said she wanted to work there, but she would be like, no, she would never work at a restaurant. And she ended up working at b does for like, ¿cuánto? Almost two years. Almost two years. So to start off, just said he started working at Buffalo Wild Wings first than me, right? Yep. How do you start, ended up working at Buffalo? Well, it was more of like kind of a desperate situation. Carlos, tell me room, please. Don't talk me, huh? Okay, thanks. <laughs> This is a Spanglish so, channel because I wrote a Spanglish show. It was more like of a desperate situation. I um, completely quit my old job, which was Dollar Tree. I was like a manager there, and I hated that place as well as I do. <laughs> I did with B Dub. So I applied. Literally, it wasn't like me trying to work there. I just applied and hoped for the best, and I got hired literally on the next day. So for me, I basically was wasn't even planning on working at Buffalo Wild Wings. The thing is that. Every time I would 
come from work. I was working at Sam's Club at the time. This girl will be like, oh my god, girl, guess how much I made? I made like 160, blah, blah, blah. And don't me ponía like, wow, I made like $50 today. And so I was seeing that she was making all this money, all the tips, and I'm like, I should give it a try. It's a server. So that's how I ended up working with her, because she got me in, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how we became servers, you know? We became best buddies. Do you like working with me? No, it was annoying. I'm just kidding. No, I actually miss working with her. It was nice seeing her all stressed out. It was kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know sirvo para being a server. Here's, to be here's a video, guys. Here's a video. Oh, do you have a video? Yeah, I have a video. <laughs> but yeah, me being a server. Mm -mm -mm. Shout out to all the servers out there. Yeah. Now that we're taking talking about serving here, definitely tip. Your server. Favor de darle un buen tip a su server. Well, si te da el servicio. Sí, so, so. Ole, obviamente si te da un buen servicio. Because, no, la verdad, no. nos damos una buena chinga. Todo el trabajo es chinga, pero... Like, I worked at McDonald's for like almost two years. Me, personally, serving was hard, way harder than working at McDonald's. It's a lot. Especially Buffalo Wild Wings, like there's some that is really like slow paced. But the one that we worked at is apparently one of the busiest in Illinois. And I can see why. So it was like always busy all the time. And I, I cried in that place. Let me tell you, it got that bad where I cried. And oh, it was just oh. I we went back in there to go get this food, and I was like, Nayeli, I want to cry. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an interview right now. <laughs> I know, dude. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, say no, this I'm over here, like um. Yeah. But yeah, but for the wall wings for me, mm, it wasn't really about being a surfer. It was also like. The management and like the co-workers, they were so dramatic in there. Imagine our ex-co-workers see this, you said, and they're all like, well, they were talking hi. I was at, in school at the time, so like, we would come out super late, and I was like already doing bad in school because of coming out super late. Y porque era burra, like. <laughs> bueno, eso es aparte. Mexican moms. <laughs> Mexican moms in the background. Dude, what are we gonna do with all these wings? We got a lot. Well, you guys wanna come join us? <laughs> so much food. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about our walkout experiences. Okay, I'll start off with my walkout experience. What? So when I had my first walkout, I remember it was like a group of chiquillos, mocosos. Están viendo esto? Oh. Well, they were like a group of guys. And then when it came to the time to check out, Right away, like, uno se pararon al baño, you know? They pull that trick que se van al baño. I ya les, ha, ya les había dado su cheque a tres de ellos. And I remember, um, they, one of them, like, it was like $16, the other one was like $14, and the other one was like, it was the most. It was like $40 something. Mm -hmm. I forgot actually, but it was like, it was like little and then a big check. So the two of them paid that check, you know, the four guys or something, they paid like two of the checks, the little checks, and then there was a big check. And then next thing you know, when I turned around, there was only one guy sitting at the table. And then I was like, I told right away, uh, mm. I told her, I'm like, I think those guys are trying to walk out. So she was kept the night, she like, go to the manager, go to the manager. So I went go to the manager, the whole story, right? So the manager comes down and asks the guy about if he's going to pay or whatever. He's like, oh, uh, my friend's left and this was his check. Oh, no, actually, okay, one paid one check. He faltaba one, the, one of the small check. So the guy ended up paying one bill, the small check, but he didn't pay the big bill. And then the manager, he then gave me the money, whatever, and he would left. And then I, I was all like, wait, fuck the big bill. Next thing you know, I see the guy stand up and leaving. And I ran to, to the manager and I'm like, hey, he's leaving. He hasn't paid the check. He's like, he looked at me. He's like, so there's nothing I can do about it. Because he said the other check was his friend's. And then I was like. What do you mean? And I'm like, he's leaving. Like, he's like, yeah, but he paid his part. The other check was his friends. That got me so pissed off. Like, what kind of manager is that? Yeah, it's, it's so much you can do. Like, you can't really do much about it. But, but then you can. Because, look, it's funny. Remember, like, two days later or uh, something like that, I, got, I had another walkout. Mm. But this time the police came and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, like, the same situation. Like, the two girls left to the bathroom, and then the guys were still there. And then I called the manager. The manager right away called the police. So, yeah, I had a couple walkouts. And me. walkouts are no fun, trust me. It's the worst. It, like, it gets really you are. so pissed off. It's like in a little bit because you're everywhere. You go to the bar, you go to the bar, you go over here. No matter how hard you try to keep an eye on them, se te van en un pinche segundo. So yeah, that was kind of messed up with the manager because no hizo nada. 
Pero Yoseli has more interesting walk-up stories because she worked there longer than me. Oh, I'm done with so crazy stories. It's crazy. Should I tell them about the last walk I had? Yeah, the one with the fake bill? Yeah. Yeah. Where do I even start? It was one of those walk up the last walk ups I had working there. It was like literally, I think I was I was on my second week. So like, I remember it was like a Sunday and then I had one more week to go before it was my last day. And I remember that time Nayeli went to go eat that time. Mm, oh yeah, that is true. She went in to go eat and because I was ready to leave. I was like going to leave soon. Mm -hmm. So that's when Nayeli came. I think we were going to go out or something. I forgot where you went. I think I just went in my yeah, I think so. I think you got out of work and you were hungry or something. I don't know. Yeah, 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 that is true. Oh, I was craving wings. Yeah, you were craving okay. wings. But I was there. That's the point. Yeah. So she was there and she saw that I had my whole section clean. Yeah, she was so... She was she kept on saying, oh my god, I can't wait to leave. Mm-hmm. She was literally my last table. And I was like hoping that no, mo no one else would come in. So basically how it worked is I worked at the bar and it was open seating. So you can go in and sit where if you see a table you can sit wherever you want so there is literally based on your look i remember that time that i was going to be cut as soon as um my managers decided to cut me which is meaning stop taking tables so i can go home this huge party of guys and two girls come in i it was like i think it was like 10 of them yeah i remember when i saw that i right away told jessica i'm like Oh my god, I'll feel so bad if that's your study table. Because I remember like that feeling of like when you see that big party and, and then like... And it was like the ratchet people. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to discriminate or anything. But it was like those ratchet people. And I wanted to cry. Because it was my table. They sat right on my big party table. And I looked at my coworker at the time. I'm like, I'll give you $20 if you take this table. She's like, make it your last table and you can go home. I was like... I'm never going home. I'm never going home. I already had a bad gut feeling from the very beginning, and I told my yeti, I was like, you should stay and see mm -hmm. how this turns out. I'm like, because it's 10 people, so when it's like, when it's about five people or more, I really do expect a good tip. But when it's ratchet people, and it's like 10 people total, it's like, okay, these people are not going to tip me. I'm going to cry. It's going to be the worst night ever. So I remember I took their order. They ate and everything, so... They complained here and there, but they didn't get too crazy. When the time, when the bill came, as soon as I see that people are almost done eating and I have a like a bad feeling about them, I learned this a lot through my experience working there. I drop off the bill on the table on purpose and like, and I keep an eye on them the whole time. As I was waiting there, till they gave me a sign or something saying they're ready to pay, they ne which they never did. I noticed that two girls were gone. I guess they were in the bath. Yeah, they were in the bathroom, and all the guys stood up at the same time, and they were starting to walk out. And their bill was like about one hundred and eighty dollars. And I remember they were walking out, and I walked right behind them. I'm like, hey, you guys pay with me, because some people got confused. Sometimes they thought they paid up at the front register and not with their server, but they are both of you pay with your server. They were walking out. And my manager at the, sign at the time was Bryson. Oh, you guys don't know who Bryson is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bryson. <laughs> anyway, it was Bryson, and I remember telling him, like, oh, he was standing right by the exit door, which is, like, thank God. So he was standing right there, like, hey, these people have not paid. And then he, you know, politely stopped them, like, hey, um, you guys want to pay for your bill? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we pay. We left the money at the table. He's like, well, you want to go get the money from the table give it to me? And I'm like, no, no, it's okay. And they kept on walking out the door saying they left it at the table. So while he's dealing with them, I run at the table. And I see the money sitting there, but I didn't even have to touch it. It was fake money. I had to see, it just took for me to just see one $20 bill to realize that they have left fake money. And so I grab the money and I go back to Bryson. I'm like, Bryson, this money is fake. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, this is, this is all fake. He's like, are you sure? I was like, Bryson, this money is fake. He went to the office running, get a marker and test all the bills. And yeah, they were all completely fake. Like, you can tell the bill was completely paper. The ink was, like, not authentic. It was just completely fake. So my GM, she was also there, thank God. We went outside the parking lot trying to look for them. And they were all gone. Like, they had this all planned out. They were all gone. The toy offer? No. Oh, really? Oh, right. I don't think it was a good part. I'm like, there was more, no? Well, at that point, I had already gone. I left way before they even got their food and everything. So I missed the fuller show, you know? Yeah, she did miss everything. I was like, I think I should have stayed. I told her to stay. I could have recorded it and have some clips right now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so we went outside the parking lot to try to find them. 
and they were not there. They were all gone. All my other coworkers, they were trying to help me out because they noticed that it was like a huge party. It was almost the end of the night. Literally, it was like we were literally about to close, so it was like the last cable. And like, how can this happen? You know, I go back inside as they're looking for them outside, and I noticed the two girls that were with them. And I confronted them. I'm like, "Hey, you guys want to pay the bill because your friends left and left fake money?" And this is the messed up part. It turns out that the girls don't know the guys. They, they only knew one of them, which was the baby daddy of her child. And they paid her their part, which was $26. I can't believe I still remember the exact money. You're traumatized. I'm traumatized for life. And yeah, they were like, they looked like they were being honest. Like, no, like we did pay. We left the, our money. That's our money. That $26 is ours. We left that. That's real. It was the only real out of the $180 total that they have left. So the GM comes out now. She's trying to deal with the situation. I'm like, oh, these two. I told her, I'm like, these two girls were with the party. And so she went up to them. She's like, hey, you guys want to pay this bill because your friends did not pay. Like, they gave fake money. And we're not going to accept this because one, the bill is $180 total. Two, like, we're just not going to, like, you know, we're not going to accept this. So the girls obviously refused to pay. Um... We asked them, like, hey, can you contact your baby daddy? Have him come back and pay? Because if not, you guys are going to have to pay the consequences. And she's like, I don't know my baby daddy. I don't even know where he lives or where he has my child. Hey, didn't he, she said that like, she didn't know his phone number? Yeah, she didn't know anything about him. Like, she doesn't have his phone number. He doesn't even know where he lives or where he has her child. And then I was like, then how do you guys contact each other to go to Buffalo? It's Wild? all bullshit. And so uh we were like already like what like how can you not my ma even my gm she's like you don't know where the father of your child lives so we contact the police oh, i don't know oh my god hold on so we contact the police and the police said that um either what she ha they asked my manager whether she wants to press charges or not and my manager's like honestly i don't care what happened to these girls I just want someone to pay the bill. Obviously, they're not gonna pay the bill. No one is gonna pay the bill. She's like, okay, well, I have no other choice but to press charges. They got arrested, and they're banned to go to B-dubs ever again. All because they refused to give out information on her baby daddy. What happened to those girls? I don't know, but I didn't get in trouble, what? but I did get everyone like, oh my God, love, are you okay? No, are you <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened. That was my, probably the worst walkout experience. Well, I've had, which was just recently. I mean, there's more crazy stories, but that's one of plenty. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to work at beat up, you know, come work over here. Working together? Yeah. Like, I guess. we're sisters. Sister girls. Ew. You oh, were excited, God. though, for me to start working. I was excited because we never worked together. Oh, I was excited to have you around. Wow, it's so cute. And then until I started working with her, I was like, never mind. Oh, yeah, because I remember once I will get so stressed out easily. Oh, I'm surprised you haven't mentioned how ugly I will write the order now. Oh, you, you oh, can... remember the time that I lost the order? Oh, yeah. Tell oh, story. she's terrible. It's because I, I was just not an organized server, to be honest. Imagine, like, imagine right, having someone take your order and they completely lose and you're waiting there 30 minutes later. <sighs> It's just terrible. Oh. <laughs> write it at the little notepad thing, you know? And then you put it in the freaking screen, right? And then this one time, <laughs> like, I then you have mania to write it down and then just put it like in an apron, like, like yeah, see. So this I would take like two, three tables at a time. And then like next to you know I had like orders everywhere, you know, throughout the whole day. So this specific order, I literally like le la puse así. And then, like, I put the order in, but I, will, I put the order for the other tables, but I forgot about this. The first table I took the order first, you know? Ya cuando acordé, I turned around, and you know that the other tables have their food already? And I'm just like, I remember that table didn't order that big of an order, so it could take so long, you know? So then I, I was like, no. 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 And it happened. And then I, they were waiting for like 30, 40 minutes for their food. <laughs> And I went to the screen and I, and I checked the table, you know, the little table and the, well, you guys don't know, but they're like the little tables in the pantalla. And I never put in their order. I ran away freaked out. I was like, <gasps> and I 
totally forgot what the order was. I was like, should I make up some order? No, no, no. What should I do? And I went up to this girl. And this girl, pues que quieres que haga? <laughs> I was just like, Jocely, help me, please. I'm like, dude, I don't know what to do. Like, She was freaking out. I was out. freaking out because I, I didn't know how to go up to the table and be like, so I lost your order. I know you just been waiting for 40 minutes, but I lost your order. Uh, what was your order? You know, how do I say that? Our manager was passing by and I was like, I told him the story. He looked at me. It's the same guy that the other time he let the waka leave. He looked at same me and he's like, well, just ask for the order. I'm like, I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. Giselle didn't want to help me. No one wanted to help me. It was just me, myself, what, and I. What, at the same time, it's like, what do I do? What, what did you tell them? What did you tell them? <laughs> so I came up with this genius idea. I went up to them. <laughs> she said genius. Like, it was a genius idea. <laughs> it is a genius idea. Look, we listen to my genius idea. We use servers. Les pasa esto. Like, take this idea. Write it down. I went up to them and I'm like, oh, I apologize for the delay, you know. Actually, our sisters just shut <laughs> down. I said, our sister just shut down and know uh, orders weren't processing when I put in your guys' order and I think your order didn't went through. What was your guys' order? Surprisingly, gracias a Dios. <laughs> they were like, they were cool about it. They're like, oh no, no, it's okay, it's okay. And they repeated the order and that was it. I bet as soon as you walked away with their order, they were like, what the fuck, man? No, but they, were, they looked like they were cool. I was scared that they were going to scream at me or something because I mean, waiting for that long, because their order, I believe, was like a large Boneless, he's like some fries, something so simple. But yeah, that's what happened. So when I started, there was this GM who literally didn't care. Mm -hmm. Who's a guy? He didn't no, care. Anyways, it's true. He did not give a shit about the restaurant. With when this GM, this lady started. Yeah, she. She did put a lot of effort into the restaurant. Promoting beat ups. Yeah. After talking shit, you know. After talking Go to beat ups. Shit. Yeah, they will oh. take care of your food if, if they're taking years, you know? Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, spears, sports. Uh, sponsor us. <laughs> sponsor us. Uh, I'm sorry if you listen to my our Mexican mom in the background. Mmm. Let's stop putting la chinga la chiquilla. My little <laughs> sister. Oh, wow. <laughs> that used to be us. It's still us. What am, who am I kidding? What else can we um say to the story? Um... Was it fun working together? Fun working together? I guess because she only worked for like two weeks. I don't mean it. <laughs> I, I worked there for like what? half a year. I know you did. And I quit like, I, I usually when I quit jobs, I make sure I have another job, you know? That's the reason why I quit. But for this specific reason. Yeah. She wanted to quit right on the spot. But the GM's like, why don't you give to your two weeks so you can leave on good terms? Because you want to leave on that same <laughs> oh, day. Yeah. Right? That's how much she hated it. Because it was my birthday weekend. Oh, it was your birthday weekend. That's why I'm like, how am I gonna ask? Because I eat the shifts, they would always give me the clothes. The whole weekend, closing. He said it was like one or two in the morning. Like, it was terrible. Me sentía como una mom, ya no salía. Ya no Más que work. So that's what it's going to be. ¿Te parranda? Maybe I should go back to Vitos para que me calme. But I don't know. And this is a bad look. And I'm like, should I be a server again? But then I'm like, oh, the look I do want to be a server again. Well, oh, it's because you're a good one. I guess I am. No sé si tragarme otra no, pero me voy a tragar. Tricks on how to make sure. Like, esto, esto me pasaba mucho cuando empecé a trabajar ahí. Se me olvidaba que, se me olvidaba que mesas yo tenía. Mm. So cuando mm -hmm. la gente se sentaba y tomaba otras órdenes en frente de ellos. Y después me acordaba, oh my god. So cuando una mesa se sentaba y era como, oh, es que está difícil. Si tú pudieras tener como, like, dibujos. Oh, el pizarrón acá. Uh -huh. Pizarrón aquí. Como funcionaba, es, hay que decir, hay cuatro mesas juntas, ¿verdad? Y sientan una mesa y me sientan otra al mismo tiempo, pero no me, no me acordaba que esa mesa era mía. Ay, no te pegues tan es recio. Que... So, no me acordaba que esa, era, esa mesa era mía. Me pasaba muchas veces cuando empecé a trabajar ahí. Um, entonces, cuando se sentó, me acuerdo cuando se sentó un couple. Oh, I know what trick you're going to say. Which one? Oh, okay, so cuando se sentó un couple, oh my god, me acuerdo que esa era la primera semana que me dejaron sola a mí, like, to do serving by myself. I remember, like, I was, like, walking, and then the lady's like, excuse me, and I was, I stopped, I was like, yeah, how can I help you? She's like, who's our server? And I was like, mm, that happened to me too. And so I was like, let me go times. find that out. So mm -hmm. I go to the chart, because we have a chart where we have our names written down, whose tables is who. And I look at it, and it was my table. And they've yeah, been yeah. sitting there for like 20 minutes. I took somebody else's order. They got their food. They're eating, Asshole. even though they got there first. And I go back there. I'm like, oh, I'm like, your server is 
is busy. I can take care of you if you like. <laughs> that ha- she told me that trick, so that helped yeah. me a lot. And they not- literally believe it. Like, people believe it. Like, I'm like, oh, your server is currently busy. I I can take your order. I'll take care of you. And then they're, they're going to be like, oh, she's Even so though it was nice. my table Let the whole me time. tip her. Because that happened to me once. And then they were like, oh, but is the tip going to go towards you? Like, saying, like... Like, they can like... It's... Sh- it makes it makes not like, yeah, believe like we me. actually care when in reality we forgot. And it, it t- actually kind of turns out well because then they get they tip you more because they believe that. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're she's giving so them sweet. the extra attention oh. that the previous person was supposed to give them, even though the previous person was still me. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick I use. It still happened, even though like after I got the hang of it of working as a server. But if you're a server and you're just starting and you want like some tips, take this advice. This girl. I feel like she will always make fun of me for a lifetime. How like I would be as a server, cause I would be all like, oh hey, no, okay, yeah. and then this girl would be like, are you okay, Nayeli? And then no, she would just laugh. Well, I was literally asking you like I was like generally asking you like, are you okay? Because she now nah, you would laugh. Wow, you would laugh. Well, it was funny because at the same like, come on, I'm your sister. Like we bully each other. Because ella tiempo ahí trabajando, so she had to hang up. Yo como era nueva, I was just like. Yeah, he, they don't even train you well to start off. Well, who trained you? Let's so, uh, uh, no, not give out names. <laughs> drinks, food, drinks from the bar, drinks from the bar. I remember my first day of me being by myself, someone complained about me. ¿Te acuerdas? Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. I swear, I swear que no los ignore, but I guess because I was, because it was packed. It was like full house in there, like people standing waiting on my freaking first day of work being by myself. That's b I was taking care of all these tables, you know? And I swear, no se estaba ignorando. But like, you know, some teacher like, oh shit, that was my table, let me go take care of it. Oh, you know, like, you know, if you're a server, you understand. That's you what, like, si me tardó un poquito, but because it was my freaking first day, y tan porque tenía todos estos tables. And at the end, when I gave them their bill, they were like, oh, can we speak to your manager? And I was like, okay, que van a decir, are they gonna say you did a good job? <laughs> But then the manager just comes up to me. He's like, hey, how are you doing? And blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, they're just saying that they felt like you were ignoring them. And I was just like, how? I gave them all their drinks, everything. Like, que esperaba? All right, guys. We had to switch um phones because mine is full storage. iPhone problems. iPhone problems? Typical iPhone problems. Malditas pobrezas. Ugh. Alguien que quiera donar una cámara, por favor? <laughs> oh, is it recording? Oh, yeah. We're talking about you getting phone numbers no, because me. you're loud as fuck. I hardly had phone numbers. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm saying. No, I'm exaggerating. Anyways, continue with your story. So, yeah, when serving, especially like, I guess it happened both ways, right, Eddie? Like, what do you mean where both, ways? both guys and girls get phone numbers. Like, that one time you left a phone number. Oh, oh that's another story. So, um, so, yeah, we servers also get, apparently, it's like an opportunity for people to leave their phone numbers and they find Ooh. you attractive. It's kind of like. I don't know, like, it reminds me of movies because I would see movies and how, like, they would leave the phone number, like, hey, call me and stuff. But... ¿Qué estás diciendo? Okay, so, I always get, I would, not always. Oh, always. Not always, always. But every now and then, I would get phone numbers. I really would never you call never, them back. Yeah, Even I never. Even if they left a good tip, I just, I'm, I'm not never, interested. I've never, um, texted any numbers that I got. And that I did, because I did once. Ooh. I remember I was working at the patio, which is like outside, and no shit, right? That's it's outside, guys. The patio is outside. I was working in the patio, and I remember there was a couple with a baby. But hold on, I thought oh, it was I a couple. You told me this too. Yeah, I thought it was a couple and a, and with the, their baby, whatever, like little family. But it little turns family. out, <laughs> how cute! It turns out it's the guy with his cousin. They were cousins. So the baby was the the cousins, but like they had, they were cousins, like n- nothing like that. I was serving them, whatever. I did realize the guy was like looking at me the whole time, which was kind of creepy. And I had to clean, and it was just the most uncomfortable thing. Oh, he he was guys. not bad looking. So the time when the time to compare, I remember, I dropped off the bill, and I said, oh, well, you know, whenever you guys are all set to pay, you know, I'll be around. The girl, she was like, excuse me, by the way. I'm like, I turn around, I'm like, yeah. She's like. We're we're not really, we're not like that. He's my cousin, by the way. What the fuck? And I looked at her. I was like, good, yeah, like, good. Way to I'm like, oh, that's, that's nice. You know, like, what do you want me to say about that? I'm like, whatever, just pay and leave. <laughs> so when she, they paid, he left, and the girl left the phone number for the guy. Oh, no tenía los so, suficientes. Yeah, no tenía los suficientes para. Yeah. He well, left. 
And I went, obviously, to pick up the... Because they paid with um their credit card or whatever. Or whatever. Uh, so I pick up the card and I, you know, because I was going to put it in my little folder. And I looked at it and it says, oh, you should hit up my cousin. And they left the phone number. Oh. And I was like, oh, so that's why she wanted to, like, confirm that there's nothing like that. And they wanted me. Le gustaste. La prima le gustaste. Esta persona... I really thought it was a girl at first. But, uh, oh, yeah, you did tell me. I was you like, what if me. it's because a girl wrote the phone number. And the girl was the one who told you, like, we're nothing. You know? Yeah, like, like, we're nothing. And I was like, like yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I don't roll like that. I mean, I appreciate it, but, like, I don't roll like that. I was scared. because Oh, I, yeah, I remember. I, you, you I, came like, out like, I don't want to message no, him, but what if it's a girl? Yeah, you were like, I think it's the girl. And then he started to use emojis right away. When, like when I texted the phone number, yeah. he used emojis right away, and I was like, that's definitely a girl. I don't know why, because guys no, don't there's, really... there are some guys that are like that. They're just like all emojis. But like, I don't know, I, maybe it's just a good feeling. But no, it was a guy. So at first, I was like, I just was curious, like, you know, like, I want to say, hey, what's up? And they did look like $20 bill. So I was like, fine, I'll take the phone number. We'll see what happens. And <laughs> oh, my God, the guy completely, like, carried the whole situation away. Like, Why? He would be like, good morning, beautiful. Oh, what are you doing, gorgeous? Oh, you look oh, so give it good. Like, I felt that. <laughs> So yeah, and I don't, I personally do not like that from a guy to be like, oh, like, oh, you're the most beautiful girl in the world. Oh, she likes a head and see. Yeah, no. like, okay, fine. No, they're missing one of those. They're missing one of those. I'm not gonna mention this tanto. I'm not the prettiest girl in the world. Not in this part of your life. Eso ya es señal que you tell other girls. Yeah, so I definitely cut him off. This like, is why I never um text no numbers. So I was like, I'm never doing that again. So. Yeah. I could have been married right now, right? So they could pick that up. He did went back to B-dubs. Oh, really? Yeah. But like literally months later, the same cousin. This is the blazer now. Dun, 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 dun. I'm too scared. I'm gonna die. So guys, we're about to try the blazing ones. Oh, God. I, I don't want to do it because it's gonna kill like... Don't look at Okay, me. we gotta do it for the for the vlog. Well, I bet it's almost like but we didn't finish everything. So we're not gonna do the blazing right here. There's five of them. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do not even one. I don't know. I'm not even gonna. No, I because I can't do die. spicy things. That you know, like there was. No, so the... I'm Mexicana, but I'm mala pa chile. Did I ever tell you about the guy that literally did the blazing challenge? So basically, when that chile. Hey, okay, real quick story. So basically, this guy did the <laughs> challenge where the challenge is um you eat twelve traditional wings with the bone under six minutes. This guy broke the record. He finished all twelve wings blazing oh. in four minutes. Oh. He will literally go in and he'll just bring oh, up the phone. Oh, and our, our ex job. Yeah, at B-dubs. Oh, I thought you meant like you signed on TV or something. No, I took, I was taking care of him. He's like, oh, oh I want to do the blazing challenge. I was like, are you sure? That oh. guy, he's like, yeah, I want to be my record. Last time I did five minutes and today I want to do like three minutes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. I'm kind of scared. Imagine actually doing the challenge. So this is like a mini challenge, guys. We're going to see who can eat this because... Do we do it with ranch or no ranch? I don't like ranch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even have fucking water. Oh, fuck it. Let's do this. Uh, I'm scared. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> this shit is spicy. <laughs> I told you I can do spicy things. <laughs> You're the one that, like, we're gonna do the spicy challenge. <laughs> Por este me, me la comí straight con la lengua. Me picó luego, luego. No, ya no me voy a comer esa chingadera. Ok, guys. That was it. That was it. Bye. Bye. Ah!